In this video, we're going to focus on the clip options for the Chart.js plugin data labels. And with this option, it's almost the opposite of what we did with Clamp. With Clamp, we're trying to show as much as possible of the data labels on the canvas. But with Clip, it, it does exactly the opposite because basically in this case, what we want to do is if we don't for, for example here if it surpasses it we don't want to see the data label at all because then this clip basically you clip it away while we're clamping it's you hold tight to sh make sure it's still being shown that's why you call it a clamp all right so let's start and explore how to do this so basically in here and if we will check here as well we look here options if we search here we click on clip you see here when the clip option is true the part of the label which is outside the chart error will be masked Basically, it will be removed or it will be clipped away. And masked by meaning that is that it will just go underneath, under through here. So basically, the background here will be on top. It's like a layer. The reason why is because everything in the canvas is shown and everything outside the canvas, or if it's surpassing the canvas, you will see it clipped away. This is what happens as well with our layout padding here that we did here. Basically, that's a clip version. Here with the options and layout, you would do this 20 only. Change that. That is basically a clip. So what is happening if we do clip here? Let's look at this. We can do clamp for true, but then we do clip here. Clip. Let me say clip here is true. And now I have to comment out this one because if not, they will counteract on each other. Refresh. Now, as you can see, everything that surpasses it will not be shown. In this case, only the green value will be shown because it is the one that is within the range. So if I change the range here, minimum zero and then i save this and refresh as you can see you will you do see it so it's not being hidden basically or it's not removed it's just not being visually visually shown that's basically the real issue here and this is probably one of the better ways to do it with clip because clip looks slightly better than if you would do clamp and it will be somewhere here below which it does not make much sense to be honest because it might block certain view of anything else so this is probably the most practical one thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel